hello there welcome back to our literature series and our topic for today is look back in anger so look back in anger is a non-african drama recommended for utme by jam so today we're going to analyze the play look back in anger first of the author Look Back in Anger was written by a British writer, John Osborne. And the book was published in 1957. Next, we talk about the setting of the play. Setting has to do with location and time. The play Look Back in Anger was set in central England. This is general. Then a more specific location will be the porter's apartment. And it took place after the Second World War. after the second world war then next we look at the characters in the play the characters in the play we have the major character jimmy porter his wife alison porter his friend cliff larry's and then alison's friend helena we also have Alison's dad, Colonel Redfern. Other characters in the play include Alison's mother. We also have Jimmy's friend, Hugh, and some other characters, but those ones were only mentioned. So we can refer to them as ghost characters. They didn't take active roles. They didn't have actual lines throughout the play, but we could hear mentions of them in one or two scenes. So these are the major characters in the play. Then we look at the plot summary. Before we look at the summary, it is worthy of mention that the play Look Back in Anger was one of the first plays to explore the theme of the angry young men and it significantly influenced the movement. The angry young men movement is consists of British intellectuals that were unhappy with the state of Britain after the Second World War, especially the plight of the lower class citizens. So they tried to bring awareness, try, try to create awareness about the situation of things that they were unhappy with after the Second World War. So now we dive into a quick summary of the play, Look Back in Anger. The play follows the relationship between Jimmy Potter and his wife, Alison. They live with his friend, Cliff. Or let's say Cliff lives with them, rather. So the play follows the relationship between them. It could be seen that there is a strain on the marriage. Alison is a passive character that was born into the upper class family, unlike Jimmy. Jimmy was not born into the upper class family and he had a lot going on as a child. Things that Alison could not relate to it because she didn't have to pass through them. So Jimmy like resents her as well as others from upper class family. He considers them complacent and less experienced. Then we see things taking a turn for the worse when Alison's friend Helena comes to stay over for a while with them. And then by the time Alison explains the situation of their marriage to her, Helena advises and even convinces Alison to leave Jimmy, even going as far as helping her, you know, call her dad to come get her. So we see Helena take the place of Alison. She proceeds to replace Alison, starting an affair with Jimmy Porter. And then we see that the relationship between Jimmy and Helena is very different from the relationship he shares with his wife. It seems as though he's more compatible with Helena. But then we see 
Helena's sense of morality leads her to leave, and then Jimmy and Alison reconcile. Alison lost her baby and is finally able to understand pain. So there is a reconciliation between Jimmy and Alison as they can better understand themselves. The play consists of three scenes. The play is made up of three acts and six scenes. So each act contains two scenes. Then we look at the themes in the play. The major theme is that of anger. In the play, Jimmy is an angry young man, a very angry young man. He's angry at the situation of things and he takes out his frustration on those, you know, around him, especially people from the upper class who he sees as less human, less connected to life and very complacent. We see the theme of anger clearly in the character of Jimmy Porter. Then there's also a theme of class and education. Jimmy is born into the lower class. Despite his education, he was still not able to gain acceptance into the upper class. We see that when Alison's parents refuse to allow him marry their daughter, Alison, because they consider him of the lower class, his education was not still enough to gain him acceptance into the upper class family. So the theme of class and education is clearly displayed in the book, Look Back in Anger. Then we also have the theme of loss of childhood. Loss of childhood innocence. Let's put it that way. Still portrayed in the character of Jimmy. Jimmy lost his father at a very young age, at the age of 10. So he learned how to endure suffering. According to the play, he watched his father die for, he watched his dying father for over 12 months. So that has a way of, you know, making a child grow up fast from that young age he was forced to endure suffering and you know loss at that at a very young age so we also still see the theme of loss of childhood innocence then we look at the dramatic devices explored in the play dramatic devices first off we have symbolism Lots of symbols, such as the newspaper Jimmy and his friend keep reading. It's a symbol for education. Let us know that the way uh, Jimmy was educated, rather, and Cliff was trying to actively work on himself. We also have church bells, the trumpet. Jimmy keeps playing. All of these are symbols used in the play. Then there's also the, the device foreshadowing. Foreshadowing simply means giving a hint of what is to come. And then in the play, Look Back in Anger, we see Jimmy wishing Alison to, you know, lose a child and finally understand what it feels like, not even knowing that Alison was pregnant. So that serves as foreshadowing in the play, look back in anger. Let's answer some questions. So we look at some questions from Look Back in Anger, some past questions from UTMA. So first question, Jimmy and Alison share the apartment with A. Helena, B. Cliff, C. Both, D. None of the above. Our answer becomes Cliff. Helena came to stay over for a while, while according to the book, Cliff, was, Cliff lived with Jimmy and Alison. Next, Cliff and Jimmy are together in the business of running a or an hotel, canteen, sweet store, supermarket. 
answer becomes sweet store. We're in the business of running a sweet store. Alison's endless ironing in the play is a symbol of routine and boredom, white intelligence, homely wife, calmness, routine and boredom. Jimmy was tired of things staying the same and never changing. So and Alison's endless ironing signifies routine, doing the same thing over and over again. Jimmy's anger is a symbol of rebellion against his wife's ineptitude to have a child, the political and social malaise of British culture, his father who died when he was 10, none of the above. Answer becomes the political and social malaise of the British culture, which was the major theme that the author was trying to pass across. Remember the angry young man movement. They were trying to create awareness against the great awareness for the situation of things in Britain as at that time. Lastly, we have, according to the play, for how long did Jimmy watch his dying father? 13 months, 12 months, 16 months, 3 months. So we have 12 months. Jimmy watched his dying father for 12 months. So this, that is it for Look Back in Anger. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.